Well, warm welcome everyone uh, to the Nerd Kicks channel. Um, my name's Ben. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a series that I'm hoping to do uh, in the flight sim, um, which is one of my passions and hobbies. Always enjoyed it. Um, just a bit of a disclaimer. I'm not a real world pilot. I am a complete simmer. I've been simming for a very long time. I think the uh, the market's changed and paved its way over the past few years with flight sim in general. It's gone bigger, better, more in depth, and it's really brought, uh, I think, a new a new foundation uh, to the the sim overall. Um, it's going to be a little series with something I've been wanting to do for a while, um, which means going uh, around the UK in a little Piper Warrior too. Uh, I started my PPL um, a long time ago, and uh, unfortunately, needs must couldn't carry it on. Um, and uh, so the sim gives me that little sense of freedom, I would say, uh, to keep the bug at bay uh, until I get back up in the air. I began my PPL uh, seven years ago again, I would say, um, in the PA, uh, PA-28. Um, really enjoyed flying this aircraft. It was really good fun. Powerful, uh, big and chunky. Um, so what I'm hoping to do here is just take you on the journey, see how things go, enjoy it, um, try and get some of these uh, recordings going. You know, if there's anything in the comments that you'd like to see or anything I've done wrong, anything you you know I think I can improve on as a simmer, um, you know, just leave us a comment uh, and enjoy it. So with the power of technology, hopefully I can show you what my plan is. Um, Really good, I'm using Sky Demon Plan at the minute. Sky Demon is a really good piece of software mainly aimed towards the uh, the actual pilot, um, but we can use it in the sim as well. Uh, thanks for a couple of little pieces of software. Um, in the past, it's, it's really grown, XMapsy, and it runs in the background and gives data up to uh, where it needs to go. Um, allows me to track the aircraft, but I think Importantly, it's really good fun, you know, going down the as real as it gets to try and try and enjoy um, as close as we can to real world um, by planning. So, on the journey, if I zoom out a little bit here, I'm hoping to pretty much pave my way around the whole of the UK, and you can see this is my rough outline map of where I want to go. Start down here in the bottom left, right down the Land's End. Um, continue all, all around the south coast, all the way up the east. Looking at some maybe some really nice visual points coming up the east coast. Um, all around Scotland, maybe jump on some of the little isles at the top. Um, and again, all the way back down the other side. Haven't touched into Isle, uh, Ireland at the minute, but again, just conforming to my circular way of thinking. And ending up all the way back down um, in Land's End again. It's going to take some time, a little bit of fuel planning. Um, I'm hoping each hop will be uh, an episode to follow along with. Um, I might be able to squeeze two hops in one, depending on the length. The first episode here is going to be uh, literally the first hop across from Land's End to, uh, to Coldrose. Coldrose is a military, but does accept GA aircraft. Um, again, we've got the luck in the sim to just jump in um, without the need to bring them up and plan our journey into them. So yeah, that's going to be hopefully the plan. Uh, zooming in to um, so where we are today, this little uh, plan hopefully should take us, I've tried to put in some things along the way. Again, to start off with, because it's been such a long time, I'm just going to do a lot of hand flying um, there's a couple of little cheat points in the PA-28 that Just Flight has wonderfully put in, such as altitude hold mode, and we can use some vertical speed, etc., um, just to make our lives a little bit easier. But starting off uh, at Land's End, coming down up to Penzance, I was going to have a quick look at this Newland Harbour in the sim. Over the top of Penzance, hugging the coast all the way down, pretty much straight into Cold Rose, um, and seeing how we go. The weather today out there, uh, down in that part of the country, I, I try to stick to live weather because I think it's it's much more realistic for me. Um, looks clear. We've got um, visibility more than ten kilometres. Some scattered clouds, three thousand seven hundred. Good Q and H, nice and high. Um, so we've got good pressure. 
a little bit windy. Um, we've got some variable winds um, up in the air um, and on the ground, so it's just something to be mindful of. Again, the a bit of a beast, which is really good. Um, and let's jump in and, and get things going. So PA28, again, I've flown this real world. Uh, really good fun to fly. It's heavy, but it's, it's fast. Um, the Just Flight model is, is wonderful. Uh, absolutely uh, outstanding really uh, how they've modeled it there are some tweaks that we need to do um, to try and you know keep it going but calculating this just put some fuel in uh, let's go to uh, where I went in balance just check the fuels in there I've calculated roughly with the help of um, again I'll show you um, with the help of, it's a little bit different so I've been planning this on my iPad and so to come to the desktop version is slightly different but we can generate a nice pilot log um, I know some people like to see that with our times and distance if we're doing a bit of IFR without looking out the window um, but plan fuel I've got in there 45 litres with an endurance of 58 minutes um, shouldn't take too long you're looking at about 10 to 15 minutes uh, flight time with this one depending on how far we look around and go around the uh, you know to have a look outside um, kind of hugging around the 2,500, 2,500 feet level, um, not to break some of the restrictions. Again, we're pretty down down the bottom of the uh, country here is quite nice. There's not a lot we've got to look out for. We've got some of the um, standard air spaces. Uh, we just need to, again, to start with, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of fun to try and get it through. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and place in 45 liters between so if we go 22 I would say that looks about right really uh, quite grateful for uh, a lot of the big vendors are really starting to show them now um, and it can get really in-depth uh, one of the things that is great to use a lot of I mean Navigraph are putting charts in etc so just like trying to jump on that as well to include them I, I, I'm very lucky to have a nice setup, so I've got a lot of my screens that I can, you know, visualize everything else on. Um, but for now, this is really good. So if we go back to the front page, there is a nice little checklist. So we'll go through the checklist, just to try and conform as best we can. Uh, park and brake is uh, set. So this is just our interior. Avionics master is off. Our mixture here is leaned out. So that's all good. Our mags are definitely off. Um, what we do is we just quickly check the fuel quantity by turning the batteries on here. Just give it a second. And we have our battery switch here. You can hear slightly in the background things start to kick in, which is quite nice. Again, the sound modeling of this, absolutely fantastic. Really, really nice to, to hear as well. So you can hear things start to warm up. Um, our fuel quantity check so we've already checked that so as you can see here we have our left tank and our right tank which has got some stuff in there Announciator panels checked up here we can push a test button while that boots up and we turn the battery off to preserve the battery as well so we've done our fuel checks gone in there um, flight controls, uh, let's put this back on so we can see. I'm lucky to have the um, Airbus TCA um, throttle quadrant and the uh, throttle itself, sorry, and the yoke, which is quite nice. So everything's really correct there for me. Uh, flaps check, give a quick check on the flaps, quick look out the window to make sure they go down. So one stage, two stage of flaps, back up again. Look great. We'll close the baggage door. We do that with the menu, uh, which is an aircraft, and we close uh, the baggage door. If we can see that on the outside, baggage door is now closed. Let's go back to here, and there we go. Uh, that's our interior. Exterior control services. We've again, we've had a quick look, checked our lights. We'll say we've done that. We know. We've removed the tie downs in a second with the chocks and the tow bar to make sure it's all clear so we can move. Oils, uh, again, we checked um, when we turned on, we had some oil pressure coming there. We, we know that's inside and out, but I don't think we can model that on the Just Flight. 
and closing the cabin door so let's just go before engine start so let's just where are the aircraft close the baggage door and the cabin door two locks locked and locked which is really really nice um, we'll remove the chocks tie downs and roof fairings on the outside so we just have a quick look how it is nice and clean um, really like this paint model actually it's, uh, it's a nice color again very similar to the one that real world I was uh, I was learning it back in the day so okay so we're good there so let's go back to our checklist before engines start so we have circuit breakers all in so all the way down here these are modeled as well these do come out really nice quite enjoy that uh, carburetor heat is cold which is down here which is off and our fuel selector is our fullest tank now we've got fuel pretty much in both there so let's go for the left tank to start just to make sure we can fuel some flow in there and then we are on a cold engine start today first flight of the day so throttle open half an inch so just give it a little bit there turn our batteries on um, our alternator as well battery alternator on navigation lights so we have our um, landing lights we've got on now anti-collision we'll put the pitot heat on as well not that we probably need it because it's quite warm out there today um, our fuel pump and mixture rich fuel pump on get the mixture up just give it a little bit there uh, full rich on the mixture um, we do a clear prop real world always good to have at the background you know clear prop and we'll start the engine couple of turns here and we should get some noise there we go there we go so engine started nicely all the T's and P's are good everything's we want to see everything start to come up manifold pressure starting to rise we'll hover that just around 1500 rpm just to keep it nice and settled for the minute while the engine's warming up um let's uh just go finish these off um magnetos are set to both um and we'll adjust it after it's warmed up we'll keep it at 1500 just for now to keep it warm and check the oil pressure so have a quick look at the oil pressure everything's in the green there looking good again we've got some manifold pressure slowly coming up there which is really nice as well just quickly test the uh, warnings and then out here is just to be safe again turn on some of the electronics now so um, let's have a look at before the taxi so we need to turn on the uh, avionics power again a lot of this today is going to be uh, visual having a look around and flying hopefully um, but we can switch on DME just to um, yeah, just to see where we are. ADF we can switch on as well. Uh, comm channels, again we're not flying on VATSIM or anything today so it's just going to be pretty much us in the air which is quite nice but we can turn on the navs if we want to um, and we'll put our transponder to standby. There's no mode C in this so as you can see check we've got everything else going so and just warm it up let's just bring it back a little bit just to idle the engine a little bit so we don't burn too much fuel okay right uh, nice little feature in the PA28 very basic is the uh, autopilot may use that a little bit which is quite nice again I've got this link to the SciTech panel um, which Again, works quite nicely outside, so I can keep my eyes out while changing. As you can see, the heading bug moving. I'm moving my SciTech panel, which is set up here. Um, we've got altitude. Again, there's a little click button down here um, for altitude hold. It's just here. Um, we can set some vertical speeds to, you know, to enjoy the flight a little bit more. I think that's probably the best thing to say um, and go from there. So, let's have a quick look while the engines are tallying away. Um, at where we're going to go so go back to Navigraph have a quick look here I quite like using the Navigraph charts just to you know, get, get as much as we can out of it but 
let's see if we have let's sort of zoom right into the airport there there we are so we're currently over here at the moment um, so if we have a look at the um, weather again we know it's 310 at 7 knots got some really good visibility got some clouds at 3000 but we're going to be hanging around it maybe 2500 just to enjoy the view as best as we can again it's not going to be a long flight for our first one first hop across um, let's see if I can remember it's been a while if we have a look at the runways quite like this gives me an idea of the best runway to use so we're looking at runway 02 which is here it's a grass runway pretty certain in the no towns to be as real as we get the grass runways closed at this time of the year so we can kind of dismiss that but if we're looking at I mean, runway 16 runway 29 where can we go from here that's another grass 1634 so we can look at how we could backtrack down onto 16 perhaps uh, runway 34 which looks good you know three knots crosswind nice little headwind to get us up in the air a little bit quicker so we'll go for 34 uh, down the bottom here we'll take off from here taking off from 34 then we'll end up going uh, slightly north um, and what we'll do I think just because we've got a little bit of fuel in the tank we'll come round um, and maybe go over the castle see what we can see rejoin our route across the south and we'll pick up at um, Newland Harbour and follow our route hopefully on the map which is kind of how we want it we can connect our system here with the um, Sky Demon plan which I think is really good see where we are the great thing about this piece of software even from a sim perspective is when we start to get moving around it automatically adjust show us down the bottom here exactly some of our terrain some of the things that are going to nag us that might be in the way which is really really good so already logged an engine start so we'll kick that so we're going to end up coming down here um, we'll come down this taxiway here uh, alpha hold it alpha and we'll backtrack down to 34 and then we'll take off and go to the north so let's take back to here Okay, back to the checklists. So, landing lights is required, is on. Avionics Master is on, our radios uh, for now are set. We're not really using anything other uh, than visuals today. Our altimeters today, we'll do the old little cheat by pushing B. That will set our altimeter exactly to what the sim is. Nice and quick. Um, heading indicator, so we're taking off from, uh, let's get this right again, uh, runway 34. So, we'll just set our heading bug. Just to match that, just to keep us conformed. 340, there we go. That matches when we take off and we want to use it, we can use it. Good. Um, taxi area looks clear. Uh, if we have a quick look around the outside, we're clear on the left. This guy in the front is just waiting for me patiently. Clear on the right. Okay, uh, we're going to take the parking brake off, press, uh, test some brakes, um, and then we'll uh, check the avionics for everything looking good and clear. So let's uh, take our brakes off, just hold the brakes on the toes and take them off, and slowly turn around to the right. There we go, nice and slow. Test the brakes, brakes look good. So we should from here pick up Alpha. So follow Alpha down. And we'll hold it the runway. Everything seems to be moving around. Uh, pressure looks good. Mixture's rich. So there she goes. She's getting away from me already. Uh, we'll hold here just for a second. Now we know there's nothing in the air, so we'll have a quick look left. And a little quick right. We'll quickly do our engine run up test here. Um, so, for the parking brake, let's uh, close the window now. And we'll quit look so we've been running on the left tank for a little bit we'll just flip that over to the right just to try and balance the tanks usually every 15 to 30 minutes to try and conform which is quite nice so we're going to run the the engine up keep an eye on the t's and p's just test the mags so parking brakes off we've tested our brakes and we'll look at the flight instruments we're doing our ground check so parking brake is set 
Mixture nice and rich, all the fuel, and we're setting the 2000 RPM. So we'll bring the engine up all the way to 2000 RPM. Nice and slow. Don't want to jerk the engine. And we're going to run it. There we go. Hold it there. Magneto. So we're going to check for a little drop in um, RPM. So we'll just to the left. There's a slight little drop. And let it go back. Stabilize. And just the right. 150 roughly drop. Back onto both. Mags are good. Our vacuum is good. We've got vacuum pressure coming through, which is good. Uh, all T's and P's are in green. So we've got green oil pressure. Fuel's good. Everything's looking clean there. Uh, the ammeter, as we know, is checked down here. So we've got some voltage, which is really good. And now shade is again, we've tested. Check again. Uh, carburetor test. So we test the carburetor heat. Oh, bring it all the way down. Slight decrease and back up again. Carbs are good. Propeller exercise full forward, but fine with that. Fuel pump off. Check the fuel pressure. Pressure looks good with the fuel pump off. Uh, engine idle, bring back. All the way down again. Let us settle around about 12 to 1500. Nice and clean. And there we go. That's the ground check. So before takeoff. So our batteries are on. We're good. Uh, our alternator is good. Our strobe lights are on. Landing lights are on. Our fuel pump. We're going to switch back on for takeoff. Uh, fuel selector. We've already flipped it. We're on the right tank for a little bit now for about 15 minutes. Again, we're not going to be in the air too long on this one. So it's going to be quite nice. Um, engine gauges are good. So we have uh, our airspeed will come alive here. Our RPM indicator is looking good here. We've got some out, um, uh, some electric um, amps going through the system, which is on the plane itself, which is nice. Uh, full mixture rich. Make sure that's fully up. For takeoff, a primer is here, which is locked, which is definitely already in. We're, we've got a quite big long runway, so uh, I don't think we're going to need the flaps, but I think just for show and grace, we'll set one stage of flaps, as you can see here. Just a one stage um, for takeoff. We we'll set our trims. Our trims in the middle, just set for takeoff. So slightly a little bit up there for neutral, which is what we want. And our cabin door is closed and latched, which we are locked and locked, and our window shut as well, which is really good. So we're going to take off. So when we take off, we'll release the parking brake, throttle the full, we'll maintain the axis, keep lined up on the runway. Look at our T's and P's and our airspeeds. Um, we'll rotate above 55, so we'll go for a 60 to 65 rotation speed today. Um, initial climb, we'll try and climb roughly about 78 knots um, for best rate of climb. Bring our flaps up above 300 and we'll keep an eye on the speed to try and then maintain 89 uh, knots, which is pretty good. So that's where we're going to go now. Let's go. So, parking brake off. Let's start to backtrack. We are clear on the left, even though there's nothing else with us today. On we go. And backtrack down the runway. Just a nice little extent for you there. She's nippy. She likes to go fast. Again, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a really great aircraft. I, I, I said I enjoyed this start my PPL. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, it's more just to really force me to get back into the sim. I've been flying the big birds, the Airbuses, and uh, PMDG's 7 Series, the Airbus A320. But uh, there's something about GA flying which is uh, really great. Um, and I highly recommend anyone to give it a go, even if it's visual to start. It really brings you back to the cement of how a, how a plane should be, really. Good fun. Alright, let's bring us around. She's a little touchy on these brakes. She just wants to go. Okay, let's just line up here. Terrible on it. Set the brake a second. 
Right, so just to run through our flow off again, so our parking route's gonna come off full throttle, uh, maintain down the runway, uh, we'll look at our airspeed indicating, make sure that's coming up and rotate. We'll go for 60, 65 knots. And I said we're gonna go up um, and we're gonna accelerate 78, dip the nose ever so slightly. Um, and then we'll bring our flaps up above 300 feet and we'll keep an eye on our airspeeds to maintain 89. So let's go. Park and brake off. Just hold the brakes. Bring the throttle up to about 2000 just to make sure all our T's and P's are in the green. And here we go. Off the throttle, full throttle. Keeping your eye down the, down the middle of the runway there. Slight corrections. And we're at 55, 60, and 65, and we'll rotate slowly. Slight deviation there. Up we go. So we've got airspeed is alive. We're coming up slowly but surely. We're above 300 feet, so we'll bring the flaps up. You'll get a slight dip, so retrim ever so slightly to hold it. And we'll start climbing away, hopefully. A nice steady pace all the way up so as I said we're gonna take off here um, we're gonna go around the left hand side here we go we're climbing at a pretty good rate already um, so we don't want to climb too much too fast try and save that engine let's pull back on the throttle ever so slightly just so we don't miss some of the good stuff this sim is fantastic if anyone remembers back in the day, FSX, I mean, I was on Flight Sim 2000, uh, even before that, not yet, but I had Flight Sim about 98, which was absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Very different these days. Right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to make a slight left turn. As we can see, come around here. Try and enjoy some of the scenery down here. So in the distance there, we should see uh, St Martin's Head in the distance, Sicily Isles, right in front of us, just there. Keep us coming around. We're going to try and level off it about two and a half thousand feet, using our visuals. Try and line up here, following the coastline down. We're going to go down to the, uh, I think it's Main Castle, best as we can. Try and trim a little bit. It's all about trim, 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 trim. Power, attitude, trim. Follow down here, down the coast. Once we're a little bit settled and we're leveled off at 2,500 feet, we'll do the after takeoff checks and go forward. Look over the hood, it's quite nice. Here we go, so we're coming up to 2500, so we'll hold where we want to be. Try and trim the aircraft and maintain that as best as we can, like so. Try and maintain a little bit of speed. So, let's have a quick look out. You should see the castle just down here on the right. This is where we are. This is one of our nice reference points. So, that there's the castle. We're going to do a small bank to the left. And uh, we'll go across to Newland Harbour. Let's pull back on the throttle a little bit, a little bit on the uh, mixture. Try and save some power to bring it out the uh, red. Here we go. Try and enjoy the scenery of the flight sim. I said, if you remember back in the day, it's uh, very different, very different to uh, how it used to be. Different ever so slightly there, so. Okay, we're gonna head 
straight to the harbour, which you can see in the distance. This little sticky in bit here. This is where we're going today. We'll get to the harbour, fly over Penzance, and we'll pretty much hug the coast all the way round to Cold Rose um, going forward. We'll try and maintain between, uh, I said 2003 to 2005 going forward. Here we go. Let's have a quick look outside. So, while we're in a bit of a steady there, we'll go on to the climb. Airspeed's good, we're up in the air, landing lights, we don't need that, we'll turn the fuel pump off. Uh, elevator trim is fine, we're always trimming consistently. I'm slightly deviating to the right there because of the P factor. Let's bring it back on course there. And then we've got, uh, we've leaned the engine, leaned the mixture back a little bit to save on the engines there. So, in the cruise, uh, power, we're maintaining. Lean as much as we can with the mixture. We've got the trim. Our T's and P's look good. And we drop it again. There we go, she wants to move. We're heading directly for Penzance. So Penzance is right in front of us, right on the edge here. Been to Penzance a few times myself. Um, and fuel tank. So, yeah, we've been in the air for a little bit now, so we'll just flip the tank across to the left to keep the balance, keep everything going nice and trim. Hold in steady there, trim the aircraft, try and keep it happy. I said it is beast, it's a, it's a big big old thing, um, you know, it depends on your realism settings as well. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it wants to move, you know, every, every piece can, <clears throat> excuse me, every piece here can, can throw the aircraft off, depending on your realism settings. So again, we're just going to have the coast. Take a look outside, shall we? Penzance below. So, just for a little bit of ease, we'll just use the autopilot a bit. So, let's bring the heading bug in. We'll turn the autopilot on. You know, if you've got it, you may as well use it. Heading mode, so you switch it on with heading mode. That will keep our nice, true heading there. And we can cheat with the uh, little hidden button here, just to maintain our altitude at the current setting. As you can see, it adjusts vertical speed just to keep us on tow there. So let's bring us around the coast now. So we'll hug the coast all the way around. Uh, it looks like is it St. Michael's Mount that's coming up, and we'll go straight into Cud Rose. As far as we go, again, very short hop today, just to kind of get the feel to what we want to do. Okay, we're just in the cruise now, just for, you're probably looking at about five minutes, but uh, I'll bring up a little montage of some shots and then hopefully join again on the approach. Okay, 
So we're coming up uh, to, to Cold Rose now. Um, it looks like so far runway 11 is probably the best from our position. Winds are pretty low there. So let's just quickly do our descent. We'll maintain our power and our mixture uh, still leaned. Don't need any carb heat. We'll set our trims and our altimeters. Then we'll just do a sneaky little button press just to make sure we're local. So land and light is already on. Our fuel selector is full of tank because we've only been in the air. We'll make sure the fuel pump's switched on for our landing. Uh, mixture will be rich. Park and brake will make sure it's released, obviously, and uh, we'll set our flaps on approach. So what I'm going to do is slightly bring us to the left. Should line us up nicely. The small approach coming down, and we'll slightly bring ourselves down and back. So we can click our nice little hit button there to take us away and start to bring us down ever so slightly on a slight decline reducing the throttle as we go so I'm going to take the heading mode off now so we can do this all by hand because it's much more fun and we'll start to come down ever so lightly out of the white band so I'm going to bring us round to the left here and hopefully line us up with runway 11 coming in just so we can see the approach coming in full effect there so let's do our mixture rich fully rich now okay so we should be coming up to the mile marker so make sure we don't lose speed there we go coverage just to the left there slowly start to come down we're quite high let's bring our speed back just start to dip a little bit just so we can increase our rate of ascent we'll just a little zigzag as we come alongside there we go we've passed it on our right now so I think we'll do one more turn to the left just to make sure we can get down should have probably come down a little bit sooner but enjoying the scenery let's just do a circle the dolphin house in front of us just there on the, on the nose Try and aim for 500 feet per minute. Nice steady way down. Okay. Bring our speed down a little bit more. So we can lower the nose. There we go. Nice little orbit there. Looking at the puppy lights in the distance, a little bit high, so bring that power back. Trim the aircraft down because it always wants to go up. Again, big beast. We're going to drop now. There we go, a thousand feet per minute. Trying to get our height down as we go. There we go, there's the Pappy lights just coming in there. In the white arc, so we'll give one stage a flap just to help us out a little bit. Gives a little bit of power over that when the flaps come in. So everything's good, T's and P's are in the green. Tuck the parking brakes to make sure they're off. And we just follow the runway. Look at your point. Start to bring the throttle back. When we're at the white arc, we'll get try and land it around about 65 to 70. A little bit low there, so bring the power in. It's all about power. Power speed, power speed. Trying to control that rate of descent. Let's bring the second stage of flap in there. Try and hold the nose. 
effectively as we can. Coming in at 60, well, be about 70 knots, that's fine. A little bit high still. We get over the threshold, and it wants to drop very quickly. And power off here over the threshold. Slight flare. And a touch with a little bounce. There we go. We are now at cold rose. So let's try and take off where we're going here. So we'll come off here just to the right. I'm going to keep rolling actually because we have a exit point. Let's roll to the end. That looks like the best thing to do, and then onto the apron. So let's take it to the end, and we'll take it to the apron just over there. Okay. And we come. So we vacate the runway now so we can bring the flaps up. Try and clean up as best as we can. We'll bring around to the GA over here. Slowly. Just stop here, apply the parking brake, and pull the mixture back, kill the engine. Let's get the window open there, shall we? Just a little bit of air. So, we did our landing, we checked that, checked our roll, brake in, we checked that. So, after landing, we took our flaps up, landing lights off, collision light, pitot heat off fuel pump off and the trim back to neutral so turn the fuel pump off and we'll just bring the trim ever so slightly back to neutral there and then we have our shutdown so our park and brake is set avionics master will switch off engine idle we know is down should have done that first my mistake but we can leave the engine in while these come off pull back the mixture we know that's off and we'll turn the mags off Try and clean up the aircraft as best as we can so we can switch everything off that we really didn't use but we had to put on anyway just for a bit of a show and tell. Trying to make it nice and clean for the next person. And I'll just turn the main avionic switch. There's a few here. There's a little switch here. If anyone's got the PA28, this, this button here is actually quite hidden from view, especially if you're quite set back here. So if you get an instance where you... You know, you're trying everything to turn it on. You don't want to cheat and push the, you know, the control E to start the system up or use any of the, um, shall we say, uh, in here we can use these aircraft states. Just have a quick look. Come to your left, come to your right, and flick this on. And this is your avionics. A lot of the time, it took me ages to figure that out. I just couldn't see it, and nothing was turning on, and I was always cheating using the aircraft state, which is a, yeah, a bit of a pain sometimes, but it is there. So open the cabin door. Um, and there we go so I'm hoping to do this as much as I can maybe each episode one maybe two hops between my uh, around the UK I'm calling it UK around the outside um, again I'm not a pilot I enjoy flight sim I'm trying to get better um, everything that I do I think in a little aircraft like this it's uh, there's a lot more to think about you know you've, you've got to be on your game um, you have to be um, I mean navigation wise it's good weather today in the sim. Uh, sometimes I may be using some VOR, some NDBs, um, just for a little bit of navigation. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this one, and I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.